Hi, I'm Carsten from Plastic Fisher. What would you do if I was telling you that we got the solution to fight plastic pollution? We know that the current situation might have distracted your focus from the plastic crisis, but plastic pollution is still hurting our planet. Every year, 12 million tons of plastic are entering our oceans, destroying our environment and affecting our health. In December 2018, I traveled to Vietnam with two of my best friends and we sadly witnessed plastic waste entering the oceans through the Mekong Delta. Back home, we realized more than ever that we live in a privileged environment and that, even though we might not be confronted with the plastic pollution and its consequences every day, it is happening. This is why we founded Plastic Fisher, to become part of a solution for this problem. I just graduated from law school and my friend Moritz took a break from his industrial design studies. Without detailed knowledge about the plastic economy, but packed with motivation and a rough concept, we moved to Indonesia in June last year and started in nothing less than one of the most polluted rivers in the world, the Chitarum River in Bandung. The National Army is in charge of cleaning the Chitarum with more than 1,400 people. And to make their cleanup more efficient, Moritz invented the trash boom, a swimming barrier that is stopping the majority of waste that is floating in the river. Our trash room in Bandung stops between 400 and 1000 kilograms of waste every week. And all this without rocket science. Our philosophy was always use locally available materials instead of shipping parts from Europe. This ensures cost efficiency and high scalability in developing countries. Importing parts from other countries also often causes troubleshooting problems when it comes to maintenance and repairment. What I'm talking about here is not just a concept that might or might not work. We already proved that trash rooms are a cheap solution to create a lot of impact. Equally important to collecting waste from rivers as soon as possible is to raise awareness within the river community we work in. The people we met in Indonesia often just don't know that there is an alternative to single-use plastic. This has to happen if we want to create a sustainable impact, reducing the waste to prevent it from entering the environment. And there are just a few minutes for us to illustrate what is happening right now in Indonesia and while you were watching this video, some thousand pieces of plastic entered the oceans. The environmental disaster we are facing can eventually be overcome, but we need to act now. With our efficient solutions, we have the opportunity and thus responsibility to improve the current situation by the scale at which we address marine plastic pollution. So far, we have self-funded our startup, but now we need your help to increase our impact on the ground. Through a successful campaign, we will be able to install more trash room systems that stop 60 to 150 tons of plastic waste every year, build our own sorting facility, hire full-time employees and offer free education. We promise to spend every cent with the absolute goal of achieving greater impact. Thank you for taking the time and supporting us on our vision of clean rivers and clean oceans.